Keeping it real, keeping it real. Keeping it real, keeping it real. Keeping it real with Reverend Laura. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Keeping It Real. I'm Laura Hallett, and this is a video series where we take and look at spiritual principles, spiritual ideas, some of these lofty things that seem unattainable, and bring them into real life practical application in our lives. And so this month for, for August, I've been looking at the idea of wholeness. And my focus for the month has been on in, um, integrating our bodies, our, our actual well being, with our environment. Um, I looked at an idea called um, echosomatics, which is about taking the feelings of our bodies and integrating that with our environment. And so we talked about things like earthing, where you go out and walk um, on the earth and actually connect with the physical presence of the earth, the grass, the dirt, the concrete, that you can actually begin to benefit, have uh, benefits from the, the healthy ions and so forth that are, that are actually available when we're out there in the environment. We talked about breathing and how making our breath um, flow with our environment and uh, and taking those uh, deeper sustainable breathing practices and allowing those to um, really change the way that we interact each day instead of letting our breath become so um, um, automatic, we, we actually put a little intention on it to, um, to bring about a different feeling in our bodies and so forth. Recently, I read an article from the Stanford Social Innovation Review, great um, uh, website with um, wonderful articles about um, how we can bring about innovation change in our world. And this was an article about integrating individual well-being with environmental systems. Um, they talked about something called integral ecology, which is the recognition that what happens to the earth happens to each one of us. So we are not this, you know, individual thing that has dominance over this entire world, although we've acted like that for centuries. But we are actually an integral part of our Earth. And we are connected to the well-being of each other and our planet and every species and every type of environment by how we behave with that. And so we cannot separate ourselves from that. I mean, we can move from one environment to another, but we are still responsible for um, the well-being of the environment that we are inhabiting. You know, this idea that we are connected um, individually and with every species and every environment is central to many of the faith traditions. In fact, recently Pope Francis wrote an article or a letter encouraging us to look, um, to take a broader vision and look at our inherent interconnectedness with everything and everyone in what he called our common home, this planet we call Earth here. You know, there are so many little ways that we can practice being intricately connected to our earth that will help us sustain our environments and sustain this planet. You know, um, being in harmony with the environment that you live in. I happen to live in the Southwest desert here in, in the United States. And so we have certain plants that we can't plant here in, in this environment because they, they take too much water. They are uh, harmful to, um, the eco ecosystem. So we don't, we, there, you know, you can grow anything in the desert, but you know, what is it doing to the environment when you grow it? And so we, um, you know, we're regulated by the type of trees that we plant. In fact, recently they just, um, uh, put out a new list of types of trees that, that, um, we can actually use here in our environment. Um, they've also regulated the size of the pools that we can have swimming pools because, um, you know, water is such a, a fundamental issue when you live in the desert. And so, um, you know, learning to live in connection with the environment that you're in, whatever that environment is, is, is a powerful practice. You know, things like eating uh, produce that is locally grown and is seasonal, you know, not trying to force something to grow outside of its uh, normal seasonal growing period is a very sustainable way. We use less water, less, um, um, transportation of the vegetables from one place to another, if we eat locally, we begin to um, uh, conserve our environment in a way that uh, is possible. It isn't possible if we continue to, you know, want what we want when we want it and uh, do everything about getting that. You know, the other things we can do, you know, the whole, uh, the three R's, recycle, reuse, and reduce. 
You know, those are powerful ways that we can be much more um, conscious stewards of our planet. You know, living in balance, recycling, reducing, re reusing things instead of having to go out and buy something new. All of these things help us have a greater sense of our connection with the earth. When we are conscious about what we're doing, about what we're eating, about what we're using, about, about um, the environment that we live in, we begin to get a greater sense of our interconnectedness with this planet. We become ecologically belonging to the world that we are living in. And I think this is, can be, you know, very simple and yet very profound, you know, and it just takes each one of us individually to do our part. You know, sometimes these ideas, these um, problems seem like they're such a big issue that, that, you know, what is, you know, one little person like me going to be doing to help the entire planet. But it has to start with each one of us individually, just like any kind of transformation. It's an inward job. It starts with us and it's up to us to, to do our part. So think about things when you're, when you're in the grocery store buying your produce, when you are uh, at the store, you know, do you need that new thing or is there something at home that you can reuse? Um, do you need to uh, um, buy uh, plastic bags that are single use plastic bags or is there a way that you can store things in uh, reusable bags? You know, really just begin to look at these little things and see what a difference it makes in our world. Have a great week, everyone, and we will see you back here again next week on Keeping It Real. Bye-bye. Keeping It Real with Reverend Laura.